Welcome to Stray Talk Saturday. This is Angela Atkins, and I'm here with another wellness topic. I invite you every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time to come join me for these different talks I give on wellness. And the reason why I want to do this on a regular basis is so you know that you have a place to come where you can find the right information about living a healthy, well life. There's so much confusing information out there um, on the internet, on so any other type of social media, television. We're getting bombarded by things and it's difficult to separate the fact from the fiction. And what I'm here to tell you, my goal in life is to give you the straight talk. There's no mincing words here. I really want to give you the facts. Yes, things change over time and we learn more as science grows, as our awareness grows. But that doesn't mean that we don't do what we can do at the best we can each time we're, at, we're doing something. And that's why I want to have this very simple discussion this morning about are we eating at the right time? Now, that seems like a very simple question with a very simple answer. When do you eat? And before I give you what I think my answer, what the right answer for me is, and what I share with all my clients, I invite you to think about all the times that you want to eat, when you do eat, how you eat. We're, as I said, surrounded by all these things that come at us. Uh, we have commercials at different times of the day from morning to night on television. There's some food that's being sold to us. And the reason why they do it is not because it's particular meal time that they're trying to get you to think about it. They want to keep their food in front of you. That's the whole point, that when the next time you think about eating, you'll think about that commercial. And when you drive down the streets, you'll see a bill, billboard with maybe it'll have that picture that you saw in the commercial. And it keeps reinforcing that that food is what you want. But rather than just be told what to eat or being told when to eat, because a lot of times these commercials come at us at very specific times when we're vulnerable to wanting to eat. Late at night, we'll see things if you're up late or if you work late and you you haven't eaten, it may be you, you're more vulnerable to seeing these things and saying, oh, yes, I'm going to stop there and get something to eat rather than think it through. And what I'm here to talk about is that there is a right time to eat. But let's talk about the other times. So there are times when you just want to eat because of other reasons. You may feel lonely. You may feel depressed. You may just feel agitated. There are all sorts of reasons. And we can go into many reasons why we eat. There are as many reasons why we eat as what we eat. And then there are the things of how we eat. And we've discussed this before about eating mindfully. All those reasons combine. Good morning, Jim. Glad to have you here with me. We're talking about when to eat, the right time to eat. So as I said, that there are things that, that give us indications that trigger our mind that say, oh, maybe we should eat. You are, there are people who have to work regular hours. And so we have designed a style of eating around the clock is what I call it. So if you eat at a regular time, you get up in the morning at a certain time and eat breakfast, and then you have a certain time in the afternoon that you eat lunch, and then a certain time in the evening that you eat dinner. I call that eating by the clock. But the clock is now telling you when to eat rather than some other way of eating. Well, eating by the clock is a social convention. And we have many social conventions. If you go back to you know, Paleolithic days when the caveman just had to go out and struggle and search for his food and eat whenever he found whatever he found, that there was no social convention of eating at those hours. And even different times of uh, in the in the cycle of life, those have changed. There were very high society times that they ate much more frequently, that they were having, you know, little tiny meals all over the day. 
And whatever your background is or whatever you grew up with, that may be the time you think is right to eat. Let me stop and say, good morning, Catalina. Glad to have you here. But think about it. Someone else determining the time when you eat, does that seem to make sense? That's the same thing as saying someone else determining you doing whatever you do for your health. Remember, what you eat is literally what makes up you. It becomes your cells. What your body is able to take in and digest and absorb is of from the nutrients that it gives you, that becomes our cells. It literally becomes us. And because of that, we really need to consider not just what we eat, but when we eat, how often we eat. Of course, it's always true that we want to eat the highest quality. We want to eat the food that is least toxic. I mean, we want to hopefully do without food that has genetically modified organisms, that's been sprayed with pesticides. We want clean, whole food. That we, we know that. We know that's important. But do you also know that it's important to give your body the nourishment at the time it needs? So many of us, don't think about eating. We think we're busy doing things and food is an afterthought. And again, that kind of skews when is the right time for you. So there are many thoughts on, and there are many different dietary reasons that you may eat more often. Um, I think we've discussed this before. If you're hypoglycemic and you seem to need more meals, there is something that can be done to change that, to modify how your body adjusts to the nutrients and that you're giving yourself a nutrient dense, just nutrient dense food that will help sustain you rather than require you to eat more. Then there are other people on the other end, they don't even think about eating. That too is not really a good thing. Now there are reasons for that, they could be psychological, they could, it could be medications that a person is taking that suppresses their appetite. But no matter what it is, we need to get to the point that we are truly eating well at the right time for us. Let me stop and say good morning again. Good morning, Eric. Glad you've joined us. Now, this is the kind of thing that not everybody thinks about. And you may have, you may know people who don't eat well or don't eat at the right time for themselves and we're going to go into this more in depth but I'd, I'd enjoy you to share this with them because they need to think about it's not just the food you're eating it's when you're eating it and how your body can absorb it so the short answer to when you should eat is when you're hungry now that seems pretty you know pretty much a no-brainer but here's the thing how many people actually eat when they're truly hungry? Now you wake up in the morning, do you stop and think, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat, or do you think, oh, look at the time, I gotta get breakfast before I go do whatever it is, Duh, before I go to work, before I get the kids off to school, or I've gotta make breakfast for the kids so I might as well eat then, or I don't have time to make breakfast for myself, I'll get it when I'm on the road and I'll stop and pick up something. So again, we're not really giving the right reasons when to eat. So you have to think about, you know, a little backtracking here. Think about what's the right reason for you to eat. If you're hungry, your body is saying, it's time to feed me. That should be a priority because remember again, that is going to fuel you for your whole day. If you start in the morning and you do eat, eat well, eat, you know, a good, a good meal is not something that is fast food. And I mean that in many ways. It's not grab and go, such as a piece of toast and a cup of coffee. That to me is fast food, as well as driving into one of those different types of uh, convenience markets that, that offer you food. But you have to think about what is going to be the best thing that's going to support you for the day. Do you need to get up five, 10 minutes earlier so you actually eat a good meal? Or are you not hungry when you get up and then you have to plan when you can eat? That is, these are things you need to think about because it really truly is eating the right foods at the right time in the right amount 
in the right combination. That's really the recipe for eating well. And so if you're just getting up and rushing around in the morning and not thinking about food, maybe you're not hungry. So don't grab and go. Stop and think. A lot of us will grab and go without thinking and start just shoving food in our mouth and say, okay, we're done with that. We'll go on to the next thing. Meals are important. Meals are really a priority because, again, it is what sustains us. There are times when you're going to have limited ability to get food, so you may need to plan in advance. And then there are times there's going to be an abundance of food, and you need to think about the reasons why you're going to eat. Because you may not want to eat all that food because it may not really be what sustains you. It may be too much, or it might be not enough because it may not be the right food for you. I know recently I was at an event where the people coming into the event, lovely group of people, all excited about this event, came in, were getting registered, and then they were greeted with a table that had nothing but desserts. Cakes, and pastries, and puddings, and all sorts of things. And it, it was beautiful, I must say. The person who made the food made a beautiful display. But these people who came in, they weren't thinking about what they were going to eat. They were presented with something that their eyes knew were a treat. And so they just went for them. And not only did they, not, did they take one, some took many. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just saying, don't think anybody thought, was this the right time for me to eat? Or is it just I visually saw something and I was stimulated to eat? So that's something we need to plan on, we need to think about, because we can be visually stimulated by food all the time. As I said, commercials. If you've noticed, if you're doing something and something comes on and a particular food strikes you, you start thinking, I think I'm hungry, I want to go get something to eat. That may not be true. That completely is a psychological effect. And these food companies know that. They know there is a psychological component to eating. So let's play upon that. Let's visually entertain them. Let's, the, the food is exciting, enticing, downright sexy, and it makes you want it right then and there. They've done their job. But your job is to stop and think, am I hungry? Because if you're eating when you're not hungry, you're sending a message to your brain. You're sending, uh, you're off balance. You're sending the message to, you're not getting the right signals. Your brain is not saying, hey, I'm hungry. Your eyes are saying, hey, I want the food. You're just interpreting that as hunger. A simple way to handle that is drink some water. Calm that sensation that you might think is hunger. A lot of times we are really thirsty when we think we're hungry. And so just having a full glass of water may just calm that sensation of feeling hunger. And that'll get you through for a while. And if it'll help take your mind off whatever the food is that's enticing you. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't eat if you really are hungry, but I think you need to learn to distinguish the difference. Because eating when you're hungry means respecting those signals, getting the hormones in your body aligned. And if it, if, it will take some time if you're not used to it. It will take some practice. Realizing the difference between hunger and thirst and want, they're all different things. So if you are a person who is eating by the clock, you are setting up an arbitrary time to, to make your body take food in. You may not be, be aware that your body isn't hungry and you're just filling that vacancy because either you just woke up or it's you know lunchtime at work and this is my time, I have this time slot that I have to eat in. And if that's the case, maybe you adjust the other times on the other end so you are hungry at that particular time if you have no other choices. But if you do have a choice, then it's best to respect what your body is saying. If you're not hungry, there's no reason to eat. So if you wake up in the morning, <clears throat> your body's not saying, hey, you know, I, I really did do all the jobs I needed to do last night while I slept, because your body's detoxifying overnight. It's clearing out different organs in your body, trying to get them ready for a new day. 
And if it's not ready to take food in, just respect that. Don't go and grab something without thinking. And don't necessarily artificially stimulate hunger. A lot of times people say, I'll just have a cup of coffee. Well, that stimulation right then and there could cause your body to be, to be triggered and say, hey, there's something going on. Maybe I need to fill this vacancy because I'm feeling differently. The stimulation from the caffeine and coffee or just the sensation in your stomach that something is in there could trigger that thought that you may want to be hungry. But we need to reconnect with our apostat. It's a little function, that a little gland in our brain that says, hey, you're hungry. And it triggers those those leptin ghrelin conversation that goes on saying ghrelin saying i'm hungry feed me and leptin saying okay thanks for feeding me i'm all done now i've i've had enough and if that conversation isn't going on naturally in your body you have to begin forcing that conversation try a day or two of not eating on the clock or not eating on schedule see how your body readjusts now, it's going to be difficult if you're absolutely regimented or you're really motivated psychologically. Seeing food makes you want to eat food. And there are a lot of people on that diet, on that seafood diet. I see food and I want to eat it. That is something that we have grown in ourselves as a habit. Habits are hard to break. But if you are conscious, if you make that mindful effort to say, you know, today I'm not doing that. Today I'm going to break that habit and I'm going to start right now. I'm not hungry. I really thought about it. I've had a glass of water. I, I keep my water with me all the time. So I carry this around. It's got ice. It stays cold all day. And as I drink it, I fill it up and I just keep replenishing it. Because if I think I'm hungry, I'd stop for a second and say, when was the last time I had something to drink if I'm not doing it? Like if I'm sitting at my computer and I'm working on something, I'm like, you know, I may not have had a drink recently and I grab it and I have a drink and I realize I'm not really hungry. I was just thirsty. What your goal is, is to think very mindfully for a while, you know, give yourself days to do this mindfully. Am I really hungry or am I thirsty? Have the drink of water. See if that takes away that sensation and then go on with what you're doing. And if you're truly hungry, then feed yourself again, as I always say, the highest quality food, because remember, food is medicine. It is one medicine that we take, many of us, three or more times a day. So we do want to make it the highest quality. We want it to go into our cells, to be absorbed, all those nutrients to be absorbed and convert into what we need to fuel our day. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or any, any other meal or snack that you have, you want it to be quality. Because I really don't believe you, you think that you deserve less. I think you know you deserve the best. And having junk food just doesn't fill us up. It doesn't fill us up nutritionally, and it's not what you deserve. It may taste great, and that's the whole point of making behind, made behind the, when junk food is made. It's to trick your taste buds into thinking, wow, this really tastes good. Sends a message to the brain. It feels good. That dopamine centers light, light up, and you think, oh, I gotta have more of this. And then we can overindulge. So you have to think consciously is this food really right for me? And if it isn't, give yourself the, uh, the right to say no. Just because you see the food, like the people who came to this event I was at, just because they saw it, they felt they necessary to participate in eating it because it was a free gift from the people who ran the event. And for many of us, these free gifts, whether it's at home, at a party, at work, somebody brings donuts into the coffee mess and leaves them there. You think, oh, well, this is a gift from somebody. I need to participate. No, you don't. Give yourself permission to not participate. You can still say thank you to the person. That was very sweet of you to bring that in. And if they say, have one, you say, you know, I'm not really hungry right now, but thank you for the offer. And allow yourself to not indulge. And it's not just because it's, it's unhealthy for you. 
you're not hungry. If you're not hungry, don't force it. The body is always, it's, it's telling you exactly what it needs all the time. It's telling you, right now, I need this. And that's what you need to learn to hear. We've gotten so far away from it because we're allowing other things to tell us. We let social media tell us what's right and wrong in certain instances. We let commercials on TV, billboards by the side of the road, people who are around us are saying, oh, I'm hungry, let's go eat. If you're not hungry, you can say, you know, I'll come with you, but I'm just not hungry right now. Make it a point to respect yourself first. And I always say, self-care is a sign of self-respect. So if you care for yourself enough to say, I'm only gonna eat when I'm hungry because that's the right time to eat, you'll find that when you try to do other things, when you try to change your diet, now I don't wanna call it a diet because that sounds like it's restrictive and you're going to miss something if you do it. But if you change the way you're eating, so you're eating more healthfully, eating more whole foods, eating foods that are going to sustain you, then you have every right to say when you're going to eat them. No one needs to impose upon you. Yes, mom and dad said, hey, it's dinner time, kids. Come and let's eat. And you got in that habit. But now that you're the one that's able to say when it's time when you eat, just respect what your body has to say. It is so important for us to take the responsibility to eat when we're hungry and not other times of the day. Now again, you have to recognize what is hunger and what is not. But value what you know about yourself. And again, it's all about self-awareness. Many of us don't take that time to be self-aware. So here's a little exercise for you. When you get up in the morning, whatever your morning routine is, stop, take, take an extra five minutes and really think it out. Am I eating now because I'm hungry? Now you have 8 million things to do, I get it. Kids are calling you, you're fixing them breakfast, they gotta go off to school. Think about what you need to do. You need to do for other people, I get it. But you are responsible for yourself. And so when the kids say to you, you know, I'm not hungry, maybe they aren't hungry either. And we're pushing that social convention on them to eat breakfast because we're fearful if they don't eat, they won't do well at school. That could be true. Or it could be true that what we're pushing on them is that social convention we grew up with saying you must eat because you're going to go and have this day then schools need to think about that also because think about how lunch is structured at schools you may have schools that have a thousand kids they have to break their lunch times over many hours to get all the kids through their cafeteria so your kid could be eating lunch at 11 o'clock you've just fed them breakfast first thing in the morning are they going to be hungry by 11 maybe not so maybe there are other ways you can do it. Maybe they get uh, you know, a protein something to take with them, a, a cheese stick or a, a really healthy protein bar that they eat when they are hungry. Or maybe they say, I'm really not hungry for lunch. And so they do it that lunch and then the rest of their day, they start lagging because their lunch is so early in the morning. That's the kind of thing you have to think for yourself. Maybe you can help your children with that too because they don't always have the same options that we have. In schools, they're very regimented. Maybe your work is regimented. Like I said, you have a particular lunch time. You have more control than they do, but maybe you need to help break them out of that cycle that we're in. Because as a society, we are in a cycle where we eat by the clock, we eat when we see food, and we don't take time to think about hunger. Hunger is a very important measure. It is a guide for us to tell us what our bodies need. If we're masking that with snacking all day long, we never know really when we're hungry. 
So if you're a kind of person that says, yeah, I'm not really hungry in the morning, so I go to work and I have these nuts that I nibble on during the day and then I, you know, have a cup of coffee and then maybe I'll go into the coffee mess and there's, you know, some little munchkins I'll eat, but I'm never really hungry. Well, you've not given your body a chance to get hungry. You've been filling it with little things all along. That's not really eating. You're snacking. And snacking's not a bad thing at the right time for the right reason, but for a meal, for something that's going to nourish us, is going to fuel us, what we need to think about is, am I hungry? And so if you're not hungry, stop nibbling on things. Don't give your body that wrong message. Don't send the message to your brain, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and feed you now, even though you're not hungry, because then that sends those signals off. But if you really, truly are hungry when you first get out of bed, Make it something high quality. Give yourself some protein and fats. Fats are really important to sustain us. They're going to make us feel full. So you've got that nourishment and you feel like you can make it through until it's the next meal time. I know that there are plenty of people that I have dealt with that have changed their, their way of eating where they think, yeah, I'm not really hungry in the morning. My body's not ready to break that fast. And that's really what breakfast was all about. You went however many hours. Some of us go, you know, at minimum, maybe the eight hours while you sleep. But we need to look at, do we need more time for our body to really finish that detoxification cycle? We really need the time for our bodies to get acclimated again to eating. It's not get up, shove food in your face, and go run and do something. That really is not a good start to your day. A good start is getting up, finding some mindful practice, whatever it is for you, whether it's just a sense of gratitude that you're grateful for a new day or you're happy to be alive and breathing, or it's a sense of uh, thankfulness, it's a, a prayer, a meditation, whatever it is that works for you. Take that moment, allow your body to wake naturally and let those signals begin to start. Let those hormones begin to work naturally. And if you're just running, grabbing a cup of coffee, drinking it down, you're sending the wrong message to your body. Give your body a chance to tell you what it needs and it will. We just need that awareness. And throughout the day, whether or not it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, whatever you call it, allow your body to be the driver of the food. Don't let the signs and signals out there that are competing for our dollars, frankly, the, the advertisements that are saying, you need our food right now because it's, it's what we think is the best thing for you. And it may not be. It may be the most convenient thing for you but it may not be the best thing for you. So what you wanna do is every time you think about food, make that evaluation. And it's going to take some time. It's not gonna happen overnight. The first day you do it, you may say, wow, I'm really hungry, I need to go get something to eat. And then you have to stop and say, am I really hungry? What is it that I'm experiencing? Am I missing something? Am I missing a person and I feel lonely? Am I, am I upset because something didn't work well? Am I just rushed and I'm not thinking about things right? And make that total evaluation. And before you do anything else, drink a glass of water, a clean filtered water, just to fill you up. If nothing else, it's going to help get you through the next few minutes while you're still thinking it out. And this doesn't take a long time. I mean, five minutes of our time is not, not too extensive to give to really thinking about what's best for us. Take those moments. Evaluate what you think is necessary. If it's food and you're truly hungry, you've got that and we have signs and signals. Our stomach starts to growl. We hear that little grumble. We feel the sensations. Our mind sets up some parameters that say, I'd really like a certain kind of food. And again, it's not about what food you eat. It's the quality of that food you eat. You don't have to eat breakfast food at breakfast, and you don't have to eat dinner food at dinner. You can eat food any time of the day that satisfies you. So the people who go, oh, I can't, you know, I can't eat this for breakfast. That's not a breakfast food. If it doesn't work for you, fine. 
But if it works for your body, saying, hey, you know, right now my body needs a little bit something heartier than, you know, some lightweight breakfast, like you might eat a muffin or something. That's not giving you what you need. That's just a lot of refined carbohydrates to go in and, and and I'm talking about the commercial muffin. You may make something that's perfectly healthy for you, that's nutrient dense, and that's great. But I'm just talking about an off the shelf, just grab and go kind of thing. You need to really think about what you're putting in your body. We need to stop being influenced by everything else around us. That's the message I'm trying to give you today. Stop letting everybody else, letting commercial companies, letting food manufacturers, letting the local fast food joint tell you what you need. You know what you need. And if you don't know, or if you think you don't know, then certainly take time to think about it. You, you are that important. It is that important that you give your body what it needs. And if you don't give it what it needs, it can't give back to you what you want, which is a whole body, healthy, full of energy, feeling vitality, feeling energetic, you need that to do whatever you need to do. You can't go through your day feeling run down because one, either you haven't eaten what your body needs or you haven't respected what your body wants, meaning you're shoving in food just because of time or lack of time or you're not giving yourself enough time to enjoy that meal. It's not shovel the food in and go do something else. Respect your time. You do get time to eat. It's, I mean, there, there's the rare situation or the rare job that doesn't give you the opportunity to eat. I mean, I understand it. If you're a firefighter and that alarm goes off in your middle of eating, you've got a job to do. And God bless you because I totally respect what you do. But that's the rare thing. On the occasion that you have time to eat, do it mindfully. Do it with a sense of gratitude and do it to nourish your body. Let your body say, I am hungry. That is the right time to eat. And so if you have more questions or you have things you want to discuss, I invite you to join me over in my Facebook group where we talk about different things like this, the right time to eat, the right things to eat, the way to nourish your body both physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I really think it's important that as a community, we get together and start changing that social convention. It's not about what time it is. It's about what's right for you. And the right thing is to eat when you're hungry and eat the right food for you, not what someone else says. Eat it at the right time, in the right amounts, in the right combinations, just for your needs. I'm going to put the link in for my group. I ask, please come and join us. And if you know anybody else who has issues that or concerns or questions about what to eat, when to eat, how to eat, please share this video with them. Share my group with them because I'm more than happy to keep this conversation going. It is so important that we take the initiative to change the social conventions because we need to make a healthier society. Our society as a whole is not very healthy right now and it's because we keep doing the same things. It's, kind, it's time to change that up. It's time to do the right things and that's it. That's what you need to do. Eat the right time that's for you. Just eat when you're hungry. It's simple. It's not difficult. You just need to make yourself aware. You need to help other people in your family if they're not aware. And help society as, as a whole. Start out there with that conversation. You know, share the video. Share what I, you know, the blogs I post, the, the, the group that I, that I have. Because what I want to do is get that awareness out there. Is we don't have to be sick. We don't have to be all frazzled about what's going on in the world. We need to focus on ourselves. So if we're the best person we can be, we're living the, the life we want. We're living with the nourishment we need. 
then we can give back. And what we give back is so much more abundant when we are filled. We are filled with the right nutrients and we are filled with the joy of life. And that's what I offer you today. So again, thank you all for coming. And thank you. If I haven't said hi, let me say hi to Nelia and Francois. And I'm so happy you're here with me. And I invite you to join me again next week on another Straight Talk Saturday. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.